you can move the car without having to get in and out. Look at this. so good. Sometimes on this job, you test a car that's so good you just can't help but buy it. This is a genuinely 100% true story, right? I reviewed this car for one of our sister channels, Car Buyer, and when you review a car you get given it for about a week or so so that you can kind of learn to live with it, see what it's like, see how much you like it, how much you don't like it, and the seven days that I had the Kia Sportage I fell in love with it. And the press team came and picked it up. And the following day, I ordered myself one because <laughs> I just loved it so much. So mine doesn't actually arrive for a good few months. But in the meantime, now I'm with Auto Express, I thought, well, this is an opportunity to have another press loan and tell you why I've bought one. Straight away, it's bold, isn't it? Okay, the Sportage may not be to everyone's taste with its gaping grille and very funky headlights, but we like that it stands out from other family SUVs. You cannot call this boring. If there was a particular angle where I think this car looks really nice, it's here at the bum. So I really like the sleek rear lights. I like the curvature here, which is actually taken from the EV6. I think it just looks stunning. Plus, you've got the two-tone bumper, and yes, okay, the rear diffuser looks a bit tacky, but look, it helps with airflow under the car and helps with downforce when you're driving it really fast. I'm joking, I don't drive it fast. I definitely stay in the speed limit. But really, the looks aren't the reason that I bought one. No, no, there's much more to the Sportage than that, as I will now explain by getting behind the wheel. Look, I am nothing if not humble, and I completely appreciate the fact that this is not the most fun SUV to drive. The Mazda CX-5 is a lot more fun than this. There's a bit of body roll in here, and the steering isn't as direct as you would want it to be, but there is a good reason for that. And there's a reason why I'm sat back here, actually, and why we've got Carlos, our cameraman, driving. Carlos, if you'd like to just drive onto the grass, that'd be great. This car has been designed to be comfortable, especially for passengers. So I'm going to show you by going on the grass and reapplying my mascara. <sighs> See that? Actually, it's not too bad. I thought it was going to be a lot worse than that. I haven't even poked myself in the eye once. Look at that. Carlos, you may now go onto the main road. <sighs> Bliss. You see, it's all very civilised. There's not much wind noise or road roar and it smothers most bumps very well. That's what you want from a family car. What we also really like about the Sportage is there is loads of choice. You can get a petrol, a diesel, a petrol mild hybrid, a diesel mild hybrid, a plug-in hybrid, and a full hybrid. That's a lot of hybrids. You can also pick between a manual or automatic gearbox, or front or four-wheel drive. So today we have decided to go all guns blazing. We have the full hybrid Sportage. We've got all-wheel drive, automatic gearbox, it's got 226 brake horsepower, which isn't bad at all. I mean, it's not a cater room, but it will do 0 to 62 in just under eight seconds. For a family SUV, that's pretty blooming decent. And I'll tell you what, what I love about this car is how smoothly and quietly it does everything. So it kind of switches between EV mode and petrol mode so smoothly you don't even notice it happening, which is very nice. It is, without a doubt, one of the easiest cars to drive. I feel like I'm not really doing anything, which is lovely. Especially if you're gonna do like long journeys, you're gonna take it on the motorway. It's really nice and peaceful and it keeps you nice and calm. When I had my previous press car, I did so many miles. I drove it from Sussex to Birmingham and back to Sussex. And I didn't mind at all. I had a great time. The lane keep assist on the motorway, oh, it's an absolute dream. It also does about 44 miles per gallon, which ain't half bad for a chunky four-wheel drive SUV. So you must be starting to see why I've taken the plunge. The Sportage is scoring very good marks so far, but wait, there's more, because it has some of the very best interior tech available in this class. I mean, just look at it. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, voice recognition, all of the things. It's just absolutely blooming lovely. I'll tell you what I'll do is I'll pull up and then I'll give you a proper tour of the interior, shall I? Okay, so this interior was a big 
selling point for me. So if you go for the basic model, you don't get this set up. This is the GT Line S, which is exactly the version that I've ordered. Uh, and it comes with the dual screen that you get in the EV6. You've got two 12.3 inch screens that are just so easy to use. They're super responsive. They're not too hard on the eyes and it just looks lovely. Oh, you've got this sort of multi-mode display here that lets you flip between climate controls and media, which yes, I'm going to be honest, does get a little bit annoying because you're having to flip between the two, but you get used to it after a while and it's reasonably easy to use. You've got a nice little twiddly to change the temperature and stuff. USB charging points, wireless charging should you need it. Really satisfying cup holder. Love that very much. Oh, and other features, which I'm going to show you by turning the engine on. Here we go. Lovely song to listen to when you turn the car on. Right, so when you indicate, it's got blind spot cameras. Love that. Let's turn that way. Love that too. Oh, and plus, what's that? It's a really cold day and you want to heat your seats. Fine, yeah, lots of cars have that. But if it's a hot day, you can also air out your seats and you get a nice breeze that comes up. Oh, there it is. That feels really nice. Oh, that feels really nice. Yeah, I can feel that. That's lovely. Look, okay, quality wise, you do have some scratchy plastics, but I'm willing to forgive that because look, Harman Kardon for your tunes and... Oh, I loves me a panny roof. Oh. Oh my God, I just love it so much. Oh, and I'm a huge fan of the reversing camera as well, because look at this. When you're done reversing, you go off to drive and look you can check the car's whole surroundings. Big fan of that. On top of all of that, the Sportage is just plain practical. You can fit three adults in the back and it's roomier than a Mazda CX-5. It's got a bigger boot, even with this hybrid version's slightly smaller 587 litre load space. Now, the Sportage isn't exactly cheap. This model is 40 grand or so, but it really does do a whole lot to justify that price. And if things do go a bit pear-shaped, remember, it comes with a seven-year warranty. Oh, marvellous. I just wanted to quickly show you how the remote smart parking assist works, right? So say you've got like a really tight garage at home or you're stuck in a really tight parking space at the supermarket. Well, you can move the car without having to get in and out. Look at this. So you click the lock button, you hold down the hold button and that should switch the engine on. There we go. And then you point and click. so good. I feel like a superhero. <laughs> so do you see what I mean now? You see why I bought one? The Sportage just fits my life perfectly. Put my dogs in the back, take it out for a nice long cruise or I take it into town it stays in EV mode and it's nice and calm and peaceful when I want to put my foot down I can put my foot down and have a good time doing it yes but that's what it is isn't it when it comes down to buying a car it's what fits your life perfectly I mean for you it might be a Ford Ranger or it might be a, a BMW Z4 for me it's the Kia Sportage and I will fight the corner of this car until my dying days because I love it so much. I can't wait for mine to actually arrive now. I'm gutted I've got to wait like four more months. I'm gonna enjoy this press car while I've got it for the week. I wonder if they'll let me keep it until my actual one arrives. They're not gonna let me keep this for four months, are they? There's no way they're gonna let me keep this for four months. 